Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. This video, we're going to be using GrooveMail inside of GrooveFunnels that you see right here to set up email automation for affiliate marketing. So here is what we're going to be doing. This is your target audience. They're on YouTube or Facebook. You're going to provide your opt-in page, which will be Groove Pages. Someone's going to sign up to your email list. Your target audience is then going to be added to a automation campaign or a sequence and these two emails are then going to send your target audience over to your content offers or your content and offers or additional videos on YouTube or additional posts or your Facebook group and then over to your affiliate offers. So we focused on working on the information here inside of your email list by setting up these two emails in an automation sequence and there's a few steps that we have to go through. And those steps are step number one, create a list. Step number two, create a form to add leads to your list. Step number three, create a sequence under campaigns. Step number four, create an automation to add leads to your sequence. We'll walk through all four of these steps, step by step, as the case may be, inside of GrooveMail, starting right now with step number one, create a list. So when you're in your dashboard inside of GrooveFunnels, of course, if you don't have a account yet, go ahead, click the link in the description, grab your free account to follow along. You can either click here on email marketing or you can come over to apps and you can go under Groove Mail and click there. That will take you into your dashboard. We'll go under leads and we will create a new list. New list name, we'll call it new list. We'll give it a description. New list, go ahead and create that list. Now we have the new list. What is the next step? The next step is step number two, create a form to add leads to your list. So we'll go back to GrooveMail and complete step number two. To create a form, you come down to forms, you come under forms and you create a new form. New form will be new list form. Of course, name this, whatever you need to name it that makes sense to you so you can keep track of this information. We'll go ahead and we'll save that. Here we'll go ahead and quickly set up the fields here. Of course, there's a link in the description and in the cards, all the information you need. In other videos that show more details about this, we'll go ahead and leave an email and first name and we'll go ahead and save and next. In this case, we'll go ahead and go with a single opt-in and our success page will be 30minutemarketing.net. We'll go ahead and save and next. Welcome email settings. We're not going to send any welcome emails. We're going to let our automation do this work for us. We're going to go ahead and save and next. Subscribe to list. This form, when someone enters their information, is going to be subscribed to our new list. Go ahead and add that. As for tags, we're not going to assign any tags. Sequences, you have do, do not subscribe to any sequence. Yes, subscribe to a sequence, and you could su select your sequence here under the form itself but we're going to use the automation to do this for us. So we'll go ahead and say, don't subscribe to any sequences. We'll go ahead and save and next. And we will finish with the code that we need. We'll need to embed that code. We will go ahead and we will select all that code and copy it into our buffer because we will create an opt-in page and paste that code in there so you can see the creation of the form field. And we will save and exit. So now we have our form. So step two, we've created a form. Now we need to create a sequence under campaigns. We'll go back and we will create our sequence under campaign in GrooveMail. Here we're gonna go down to campaigns, create a sequence. Here we don't have a sequence. We'll go ahead and create a new list sequence and we'll create that sequence. Here you'll be able to add a trigger. Click on that to add a trigger. You have tags, you have lists, you have forms. So under this, if someone is added to our new list form, Lead subscribe to list. We'll go ahead and say done. So if they're added to our list, then we will go ahead and send them an email. This will be email one. We'll go ahead and say email one. And you can see down here, this is where you can type your message. This is email number one. Of course, make these the email you need to send. We're just doing this for testing purposes. And we'll go ahead and set the send status to active and go ahead and select done. Then we will set a time delay. Here we will set the time delay to wait a number of days or hours. Here we'll go ahead and we'll go under days and hours. We'll save that for one hour. As they don't have anything less than one hour, 
We could go ahead and send this right here, right after previous step. That means that we would get this email right after this one. We'll go ahead and go for wait days and hours. And you can see here, allow days, any time, in, in between. You can set these options as you need. We'll go ahead and stick with one hour for this demonstration. We'll go ahead and say done. And then we will send another email. Here we will call this email to Gateway Groove Server. Here you could set up a different server under SendGrid, or we can use the GrooveMail server. Of course, we only have 30minuteMarketing.net. Configured, if you had a different gateway configured, you could set that up. Email 2 will be email 2. And we'll go ahead and say done. Now what you can see right there is the triggers, the list, email 1, wait 1 hour, send email 2. And we'll go ahead and save that sequence. You can see that that new sequence is active. Under actions, you have edit and you have delete. So now we have created a sequence under campaigns. Now we need to create an automation to add our leads to our sequence. So we'll go under automations and under automations, you can add a new automation and you can see here the automation will be add leads to sequence. We'll select a trigger here. If a lead subscribes to a list, a new list, then we will add them. Then we will subscribe them to our new list sequence and we will save that. After we click add and add to make sure we've added this automation in order, if then, then we will save. So now there is our automation. Click play to enable the automation and here you have the option to edit it, copy it, or delete it. So there now we have finished step four and now we just need to generate some leads through our list. So we'll go back to Groove Mail here, we'll go back to Groove Funnels and we will manage sites and funnels. And here we will add a new site real quick and add a form to a page. We'll use a free page. Actually, we'll just go with a blank template and just say new list page, start building. Here we have a blank page. We'll go ahead and grab a block. Here we'll just grab a cool block and drag it over. And then we'll go under elements. And under elements, what we're looking for is code embed because at this time they do not have a direct integration. So what we'll do is we'll just add this code in right here, drop that code embed there, click on that, get the cog wheel, paste the code that we copied earlier from our form and we will save that. You'll see the form right there. We'll go ahead and we will publish this to a new site. And of course, if any of this you don't understand, there's a link in the description to complete playlist for GrooveFunnels, GroovePages, and GrooveMail. You can catch up on all of those videos to figure out exactly what I'm doing, but it's pretty much step-by-step. -step. Build a page, add the form that you created in the fir first steps that we were doing inside of GrooveMail. We'll go ahead and we'll publish that page. Site publish in progress. Changes usually go live within a few minutes, but may take longer. We'll go ahead and we'll click on the link right here to see if our page has been published. Our page has been published and you can see right here, here's our form for our email and our first name. We'll go ahead and enter an email right there. We'll go ahead and enter a name. We'll just say G and we will submit. You can see there that we were redirected to 30minutemarketing.net after we signed up on our form, just like we set up inside of our form to actually do a redirection to 30minutemarketing.net. So we'll go back to GrooveFunnels. This is inside of group pages. We'll hit the G to go back to the dashboard. We'll go under email marketing. We'll go under leads. Look at lists. You can see we have one new active contact. contact. Click on leads. You can see right there that that email was added. There's the name G, 30 minute marketing at gmail.com. And you can see all the other information if that information was captured in your form. Now you can go under campaigns, under sequences. And there's actually nothing to look at here. Under automations, click on automations. There's actually no data to look at here either. We'll go under analytics and take a look at what we have under here. Under analytics, we have list. You can see the one active contact. And under sequences, you can see here still the actions. We can click on detailed stats. You can see that that is coming soon. This is January 4th, 2021. At the time of making this video, so coming soon could be January 5th or it could be a little bit later. Check back to see 
the progress that they made. At this point, let's go back and see if we've actually received an email or let's head over to our Gmail to see if we've received an email. Here I am in my 30 Minute Marketing Gmail account. And as you can see, 30minutemarketing.net has sent me email number one. This is email number one. And you can see it came from groovemailserver.com to the address that I signed up with, 30 Minute Marketing at gmail.com. So the automation and sequence has worked up to this point. Now we just need to wait an hour to see if the next email is sent. We'll go ahead and we'll pause and we'll come back in an hour and check this out. And one hour later, 12.48 p.m. to 1.48 p.m., we are back with email number two. Email number two, 30minutemarketing.net by groovemailserver.com. So we went through step one, created a list. Step two, created a form and added those leads to our list. Step three, created a sequence under campaigns. Step four, we created an automation to add the leads to our sequence. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer right here. Click that timer, subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos just like the ones you see right here. Click those, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.